they're so cute. Phew! Oh, finally some rest! Why, I haven't spoken so much in... Well, in forever! <laughs> Lively, isn't it? The town is a buzz. Everyone eager to meet with our friends from the moon. Yep. It would behoove you to consult with Sleeping Way. As our moon's pilot, his advice should be most pertinent. Yeah, he just puts stuff on autopilot and goes. That's what that is. <laughs> I'm impressed. Truth be told, I struggle to tell one from another. No offense intended, of course. Of course. None taken. After you and your friends left Mare Lementorum, we spent no small amount of time with your Urianje. Oh, the conversations we had. He told us all about Atheris, answered our every question, no matter how trifling or trivial. Look! Every page filled to the margins with knowledge. Oh. When I first arrived, I was struck by how little I knew. It was daunting. But then I realized that were it not for Urianje and his teachings, we'd still be stuck on the moon, gazing at your world and wondering what we've been missing. <sighs> <laughs> what would they think if they could see Urianje now? I dare say they'd be more than a bit surprised and impressed, no doubt. Master Louisois, Minfilia, Papa Limo, and not to forget. Oh, there. Heard there was a visiting expert who we might bother with a few questions. I take it you'd be the one. Yeah, yes, I am. Wilson and Blavida. Charlian's foremost researchers in the field of teleportation magic, and Moonbreeder's parents. It, it hath been some time. Tis, tis good to see you in uh, good health. Likewise, old friend. Blavida and I were most honored to answer the call. Never expected this reunion, though, did we, dear? She looks so much like her. I'll say. The nerve. Sending that letter, then running off to the gods know where. Oh. Do you have any idea how worried we were? <sighs> I... I'm sorry. It was remiss of me not to deliver the news in person. No, more than that. It was I who... Our daughter was disillusioned after Master Louisois left her behind. The day the Scions called upon her was the happiest I'd seen her in years. Aww. She made her every choice of her own free will. No one could have ever forced her to do otherwise. Don't blame yourself for her death. Celebrate her life. You know that's what she want. If there is one thing we resent you for, it was that we could not be there to mourn her with you. Aww. Reading the words you penned in that shaky hand, we must have cried as much for you as we did for her. I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. Oh my 
I knew not what to say. Knew not how to express my feelings. The poems and platitudes of wiser men, musings on sadness and loss, studied and memorized, and meaningless in the moment. You silly boy. We are all powerless before such grief. Oh. Even now, try as I might, the words escape me. But in our hearts, we know, we always know. Yes, we do. I remember when you were young, how the lads teased you for choosing the company of books over others. Our moon didn't take kindly to that. Be nice to Orionje, she'd shout, and give them a walloping. <laughs> no matter how many times we scolded her. So we offered a suggestion. Rather than starting fights, why don't you be the bridge between Orionje and the others? She had to mull it over for a while. Arms crossed, brow furrowed in intense thought. <laughs> but from that day on, she never let you be alone. She drag you outside to play, pepper you with endless questions, read the same books you read, all to try and understand you that much better. Aww. I'm sure it was annoying and exhausting at the time, but she only ever had the best of intentions. And look at you now, at the center of the crowd. The reason there even is a crowd. Having brought these people together. Yep. You've no idea how proud we are. To see the boy, our daughter trusted and believed in more than anyone, grow into the man she always knew he could be. I can see her in you too. Feel her. She walks with you wheresoever you go. So thank you, Orianger, for being who you are. <laughs> I... I think... I can feel her too. Truth of her life, not sorrow, but hope and love. So. <laughs> you could ask the man himself. Oh, no, no. But watching this exchange reminds me how much I've yet to learn about your world and its people. You can live here your entire life and hardly learn a thing. And that's why it's too soon for this to end. Yeah, it's too soon. We gotta save the, this star. <laughs> we can't just leave like a bunch of cowards. We gotta fight this. <laughs> <laughs> 